is Nancy from Nancy B Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Dress My Craft transfers. These are a little different than the Prima and IOD transfers because these use water instead of rubbing with something. And uh, they come in sheets that can cover a large project or smaller ones that you can cut apart and use uh, in, on smaller things. So right now I'm gonna be using uh, a smaller piece for this cute little frame I found. I uh, got it in a thrift shop and I already painted the background a cream color. And if you're familiar with transfers, you know that you can paint the background any color you want because the transfers are clear uh, so if you have words like these, if you painted whatever you were going to put this on, blue or green, you would see that color behind the transfer. But for this, I'm just going to be using a little butterfly. And uh, so a couple things that you need are water, either, uh, there's two methods, you can use a spritz bottle but most of the tutorials on the computer show using water in a bowl. You can use a sponge and uh, paper towels also, scissors to cut it. And what you're gonna wanna do, if you're familiar with transfers, they do have a sort of a shiny halo around them when you cut them. So typically you'd want to cut your transfer as close as you can around your whatever it is that you're putting on there so you don't see a lot of the shiny background. It doesn't bother some people, if it bothers you, try to cut it close. But you still need to leave yourself a little room to hold on to the edge of your transfer to dip it into the water. Now for this, I'm going to be putting a butterfly, that one's a bit too big because this doesn't uh, go all the way to the end. So I'm going to be using this little green butterfly right here and I'm going to cut it. You're going to leave this plastic film on top until you're ready to put it on your project. So just cut. I'm not going to cut really close because I'm thinking mine, the shiny part will be all over the whole thing and you might notice it less if that makes sense. So I'm thinking if the shiny part is seen through the whole thing, you're really not going to notice the difference. And what we're going to do here. I'm going to be putting it on the whole thing. So what you want to do is peel off the plastic and now it's the transfer is just attached to the backing. So you have two choices now. You can dip it in the water and hold it for 10 to 12 seconds in there or we could put it on here and spray it with a spray bottle of water until it gets pretty wet and you start to see the image showing through. And the trick with these is we're not going to pull it up. After it's wet enough, we slide it off. So the image is going to stay on here. You can see, I don't know if you can see that there, you can see through a little bit. So I'm going to try to put it right in the middle. And you don't want to touch this with your fingers too much. I could touch it on the ends here, but it is a little sticky. What I'm going to do is hold it on the end and put it in the water for about 10 to 12 seconds. And you can see it curling up. You can see the image showing through. Now that is pretty wet, so you're going to want to just pat it a little bit. Pat it on your paper towel or your sponge. Get a little bit of that water off. 
and now you can see the image coming through and I'm going to want to center this as much as I can. Okay, so I have it placed down. Now I take a brush and you're going to want to push it down. Go start at the middle and go out. And what you're doing is just making sure there's no bubbles, there's no wrinkles, and you can actually see this kind of sliding around and it's ready to come off. Take it by an end and just slide it off and it's perfect. I'm gonna let this dry and then seal it with just my regular varnish. So that's how you do a small transfer, dress my craft. I'll come back and show that to you when it's dried and sealed and I'll put it in the little frame. Now I'm also going to show you the large transfer. This is, I think, just so beautiful. The bird, the words, the flowers. I love this. For this one, for the large one, I'm a little leery about putting it in a bowl of water. I'm going to use the spritzing method. And I'm going to cut, since it has a break right here, uh, I'm going to cut it apart and try to get some up here and the rest down here. Uh, this is like an organizer. It's from the Bombay Company. One of those wood, sort of fake wood organizers. They make a lot of tables and, and whatnot, the Bombay Company. I've already, I sanded, primed, and painted a couple coats and took the hardware off. This is backwards, so when you're looking at this, we're going to be putting it this side down and it will look proper. You'll be able to read it. So take it out of your plastic. Now while it still has the plastic covering on it, see how it's easy to pull it up, you're going to want to do your cutting before you peel it off because once you peel off the plastic it's a little sticky. And for this one I'm going to cut close to the words so I don't get as much of that shiny film. What you're going to want to do is lay it out to see if you like the placement. Make sure it fits because once it's down, that's it. All right, so now I'm ready Actually, I'm going to put this one in the water, the water bowl. When I do the large one, we'll do the sponge method. All right, so you peel the plastic coating off and put it in the water. And it's gonna be for 10 seconds. I'm get the whole thing in there, hold the end. see this. All right, that's about 10 seconds. And again, we will just take a little bit of the extra water off the back. You don't want to touch the front because that's where the transfer is. But you don't want it dripping all over the place. And I'm going to lay this in the middle. You only have one shot at this. So line it up properly. It's already coming off. Well, shoot. See? I messed it up. No, well, that's okay. If you want, you can take a sponge, take off a little extra water. Okay, better. Better use my brush here, push it down. Okay, and we will slide this off. All right. 
what I'm going to do is take that away. All right, so for this, I cut off the top and I'm left with this larger piece at the bottom. And we have our mister and a sponge and a brush. All right. What I like about this method is you're putting it down dry. And so you have a couple shots at putting it, making sure it's straight, it's in the center. Whereas the other way, if you put it down crooked, that's it, you're stuck. I'm just trying to center this, make sure it looks straight. Okay, so just pat it down a little bit. Now you can start spraying with water and with your sponge, you're going to be spreading it around. I'm also going to use a little bit larger of a brush. And what you want to do is start seeing your pattern coming through. And this is important where you're going to want to get out any bubbles. You want to make sure the whole thing is really soaked. So start from the middle, a little bit of bubbles in there. Move from the middle out. Keep going from the middle out. Make sure it's wet all over. And keep a hold of this because you don't want it to slide. You want to get all the way to the edges because you don't want to lose whatever that is on the edge. There's some lettering. Now you can start adding even a little bit more water and patting it on. This has to get pretty wet because if you think about it, what we were doing with the small ones is soaking the whole thing in water. So this has to get really wet like it was soaked in water. And get all of your edges. And then you can sort of start testing it. slide it, not lift it up. So slowly start sliding it away, grab hold of it, and just pull it. And there it is. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the colors on that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's beautiful. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put some molds around it. I'll seal it with uh, varnish and I'll show you the finished product. All right, I finished the box and I think it came out really great. Uh, I, what I did was I took off, if you remember, there was some lettering at the top and it came out crooked. So I sanded a little bit, but I'll tell you, these things really stick on well. So I just covered it over with paint and that was fine. And I put the molds and all the way around, if you can see that. Uh, what I did then was paint it. I did a little bit of burlap, a little bit of dried sage, Dixie Belle paint, chalk paint. And then I added two waxes, the bronze and Stamperia gold wax to the tops just to make them highlight a little bit. And I put some brown wax around the molds. All in all, this came out really well. It was easy to do. 
I sealed it with a clear coat and then I sealed again with clear wax just because I was doing the brown wax. Uh, that way it doesn't get too dark and I can wipe it off. Uh, the inside, I kept it simple and I just did a stencil with some of the gold wax, left the inside plain and just sealed it. The small frame came out great. This was easy to do as well. This was the one that we soaked in the bowl and I would definitely do that again for small pieces, but for large, I would go the spray bottle way. It was a lot easier, especially with the placement. You could see where it was and you can make sure that it was straight. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, if you've used them or you're thinking about using them, drop a comment below. And I will put a link in the description of where you could buy these dress my craft stents, uh, transfers. And um, if you could subscribe to my page and share my videos and you can hit the bell and you'll get notified whenever I post new material. Thanks for watching and have a great day.